Hi everyone and all you M maniacs and welcome back to our next episode of ML Plays FIFA 15. It's Hartlepool versus Nottingham Forest and we are travelling to Nottingham Forest today. The first time we played them, we beat them in the league 1-0. Well, and today let's hope that we can get another win. In the last couple of games, we've played the last five games in the league. We've got 13 points out of five games. That's pretty outstanding at the minute. But we are still currently sitting in only ninth place. We need to get a second half of this season and push and start going up the table. Anyway, today, as I said, it's uh, Hartlepool against Nottingham Forest. We're playing in the blue and white stripes. Nottingham Forest are playing in their red. We're on EA professional Sports difficulty. Off we go to the Forest it's Park Nottingham Stadium. Forest against Hartlepool United. Well, it's been a wonderful season for today's visitors. Can they bank another three points As you can see, we're on 40 going? points. A win Again, here could take us up evening. to third place in this league. Nottingham Forest, on the other hand, down at the bottom end of the league in 18th place. They really need to do something and pull something out of the bag here if they're going to be staying in this league. They're not doing too good at all at the minute. Hartlepool United, they played really well last time out. And one at home against Derby County. That's right, yeah, a 1 0 win one against Derby County. Uh, Brilliant sure goal that was scored one. by Alessandra, where he ran down from the halfway line and put it away. Home team anyway, here's the Nottingham Forest team lineup. I don't know who the Nottingham Forest players are, so I'll refer to them as Nottingham Forest striker, Nottingham Forest midfielder, etc. etc. They're playing that formation that I don't like playing against with that one defensive midfielder in the back which makes it five defenders is really hard to score up. against. Here's the Hartlepool starting line-up again. We've got Barbara in goal, and we've got Duckworth, Nerny, Bates and Holden at the back with Compton, Woods, Walker and M out in the middle. Alessandra and Lee up front. Very good, the strong team. It's a team that's been getting us all the points lately. As I said, 13 points in the past five games. That's pretty epic. Just need to keep it up. That's what it needs. We need to keep going with this same momentum and keep running at a pace like we have. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a blip getting knocked out of the FA Cup against Leighton Orient, another team who's in this league but at the very bottom. But uh, other than that, we've, we've been winning all the other games. We ain't been doing too bad bad at all apart from the game, game against Wigan which we drew nil nil anyway it's Ian uh, Wildercroft again sorry Ian Lowcroft again who's the uh, referee and, and it's Nottingham really Forest to kick to off match. away we go we're That's playing from right to left in this first in half of the game Nottingham Forest trying to break through our midfield at the moment not able to do so the referee the sees a foul there the foul. that he doesn't like and he's come over to give a card as well I didn't think that was deserving of a card but once again it's Josh Nerney picking up another card he's collecting more cards than a Christmas day he, he seems to be getting cards left right and centre he did actually shoulder check him though there so probably granted it was probably a foul he probably could have got away with just a warning there rather than a yellow card but he's going to have to be careful now for the rest of this game so Nottingham Forest with the free kick here plays it over into the centre and a lovely header and goal back off the crossbar that was so close for Nottingham Forest to go ahead there in the lead with that goal that was an absolute brilliant start for Nottingham Forest here Challenge let's hope that Hartlepool don't start dropping points to the teams at the bottom of the league if they start doing that that could be really bad we don't want to hemorrhage points to teams way below us we should be absolutely destroying teams way below us but you never know what it's like in a game of football one minute it can be we could be all over it the kick. next minute we could be down to 10 men and not being able to score goals, which has been happening in the games previously as well. Anyway, Walker not happy there with the uh, warning he's just received off the referee. The referee needs to allow this game to, uh, to run a little bit rather than keep blowing up every time somebody goes over. You know, that did not seem to need or warrant a free kick there. That was just part of getting the ball. Anyway, it's Nottingham Forest with the ball, with the free kick. Is he going to play it long? No, he just plays a short ball forward. 
Now they're on the attack, trying to get through the middle. He does so. He passes it Nothing right out. Tackle. But a tackle the there, and it, it goes to Compton. Effort. Alessandra now with the ball going for a run oh, down that wing here. doesn't manage to do so Mackie. Compton coming across trying to get the ball back Holden well, closing up trying to get the ball as well he manages yeah. to do so and Eighty clears tackle. it away at the minute there's a bit of a problem with Holden uh, in between games it's coming up Madison. saying that he is unsettled at the club I'm just hoping that he decides to stay with Hartlepool because he's an absolute oh, class Visitors. player at the no, back he's been quite. with us the whole time I've been playing for this team and well I'd be sorry to see him go to be honest with you and considering he's saying that he's unsettled at the club I don't see how he can be because he's playing every single match but fingers crossed and touch wood will be able to keep him especially if we get promoted up into the premiership that is the main thing on our minds at the minute we need to get up into them playoff positions currently we're just sitting below them but with a win here if we do manage to get the win we could jump straight up into third place that's as long as all of the other teams above us lose or draw of course which um you know there is every chance that that could happen but I mean, there's a long way to go. This is only the 30th match of this season. As you know, there's 48 matches to go in a season here on the FIFA. So let's see if we can do this and get up there. That's including, sorry, the friendly games. And it's also including the cup games. But we are on the 30th episode so far. So we are now over halfway in this season. And it and is just the run now the to the very uh, end of the season. The, uh, we will be able to keep it up and stay up there. The Let's and hope we sure don't go on a bad really run of form like we did uh, earlier on in the uh, season. I mean, we started off really well. We went top in, in top well half of the table game, for a long period. Then we had a little bit of a slump. And now we've come back again and gone up there. Now we're through on goal over Alessandra. Just about to take a shot of goal. Gets tackled. But going back to what I was saying, we don't need to have a slump now. We need to try and keep getting the results that we have been doing in the past couple of games. So Nottingham Forest trying to play it forward. He knocks it up into the middle. Gets tackled by the defender. Once again gets tackled by Duckworth. Knocks a ball forward to Alessandra. Alessandra puts it through to Duckworth again. The defender just about to have a shot. Just as he gets a shot off, he gets tackled by the defender. And uh, Nottingham Forest now go on the break. And Mal trying to get back and take the ball off the, off the striker. Doesn't manage to do so. It is end-to-end -end stuff here. Each time the team gets tackled by the defender and it gets cleared. Every time they're trying to get back up there and have a shot at goal. It seems to be whenever somebody has a shot at goal, they either lose their foot in or the ball gets taken off them. The way it's going though, if this continues, one of the teams is going to put the ball in the net. Let's hope that it's Hartlepool. Anyway, we've played 45 minutes of football. That seems like a very fast half of football so far. It don't feel like just a few seconds ago the, uh, the whistle for the start of the match had started it. Anyway, there it is, half time, and it's currently Hartlepool nil. Norwich, uh, not Norwich, oh, we're not playing Norwich. Nottingham Forest nil. I just wonder in the second half whether things will change. So we I hope that they, they do the change in the second scoreless. half. I mean, we've Let's got every chance of winning here. Half. I mean, both and teams have. They've played well so far. Hartlepool being blocked out of scoring by the defenders of uh, Nottingham Forest. As you can see, the possession, Nottingham Forest have had 45 uh, sorry, 51% of the possession the and uh, Hartlepool have had 49%. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to put the ball in the net in that possession stat. So, here we go, second half. There's been a couple of substitutions. Miller for Woods and I didn't see who the Nottingham Forest uh, one was. That's a lovely long-range shot by Miller there. Unfortunately, didn't go past the keeper. Lovely save by the Nottingham Forest keeper to keep them in this game. And now the midfielders are, are really trying to turn on the style. They're taking it around the players of Hartlepool like they're not even there. The half-time team talk seems to have done Nottingham Forest wonders here. The ball thrown in there. Didn't manage to do anything with it. It gets cleared out. 
by the defender from Radoslav Hartlepool Majewski. for another throw in Nottingham Forest Home throwing a ball in a trying to push forward it gets put out once more for well, another throw in and the manager trying something different in the make another substitution I'm not even going to try to uh, pronounce that name because I know that I'll completely mess it up so uh, I'll let you just read it and well that's a substitution for Nottingham Forest uh, it's Langsby for well yeah I'm not even going to try anyway the ball Lee. played across the pitch Hartlepool on the attack Alessandra trying to get Good past game. the defenders he's through he's got one defender he has a shot at goal and a beautiful Here's save again by the Nottingham Forest keeper he's keeping their team in it today Lewis Hawkins now coming on for Brad Walker as well for this substitution but going back to what I was saying the Nottingham Forest keeper today is having an absolute blind he keeps foiling Alessandra's point uh, Alessandra's shots at goal but it's gone out for a corner Emmal crosses the corner over gets onto the head of the not uh, the Nottingham Forest defender and then it gets cleared away by the other defender only as far as Lee Lee now with the ball trying to get Comes forward tackle. gets tackled by the defender and now they're Thank pushing you. forward Nottingham Forest are broke and they're on the attack they've got Need several people forward win right. support will he be able to get the shot off he turns it inside and Holden comes across takes a ball off him and Lee. stops the attack there that was a very dangerous attack by Nottingham Forest all they needed to do was slide it past Barber unfortunately they were unable to and a beautiful tackle by Holden foiled the plan of Nottingham Forest but once again they are still on the attack they're on the edge of this penalty area trying to push forward trying to put the ball back into the net of Hartlepool Hartlepool pushing forward now up at the halfway line it's Emma with the Good ball going on a run them. he tries to cut inside little through ball to Alessandro he tries to play the ball across to Lee and it's Lee with the Good ball right Miller shot. sorry with the ball tries to have a shot at goal gets tackled just as he's about to release a trigger and the defender clears it away once more. Nottingham Forest breathe a sigh of relief and show that they are here to win the game as well. They are not going to go down without a fight here. They are playing absolutely blind in football here, Nottingham Forest. It's end-to-end -end stuff. Really exciting game. But at the minute, it just feels like neither team is going to be able to put the ball in the net because as soon as they try to get a shot on goal, the, uh, the defender for the opposition seems to stop them or takes the ball off them. Well, anyway, the here's Nottingham yeah, Forest on the, the attack man. again. Well, Once again, Holden gets a foot out, sticks a ball out for a throw-in. Nottingham Forest throw it back in, trying to sort out another attack formation. Here they go, the midfielder with the ball, getting pressure from Alessandra. Cohen. Don't lose the ball though, he gets the ball out to the wing. M. Mal coming in to try and get the ball. The ball's crossed hey, long though towards the crossed. forwards of Nottingham Forest. Nothing the there though that's uh, going to cause a problem. Uh, but the referee saw something he didn't like and he's given a free kick to Nottingham Forest. Don't see what happened there. They haven't showed a replay either of what's happened because there was no Hartlepool player there trying to get the ball unless they were not happy with the tackle that M. Mao did on the, uh, the, the winger. And there was a complete, absolute waste of a shot league. by Fryer. It went flying over the top of the bar. Absolute wasted. Should have taken his time and kept it down. You'd have thought that a, a forward who plays in the championship should be able to get over a football and keep it down underneath the bar. He didn't do so, but he might do this time. The ball played long into the middle. It goes through Barber's legs, and it's gone out for a corner, I think. A substitute coming on for an already have a substitute player. here for Nerny for Richards. I think the, the reason we're doing that is so that Nerny doesn't get another yellow card and stay off. Obviously, there Richards once again hasn't washed his kit and he's coming on with dirty socks. I don't think the guy owns a washing machine, but uh, you'd have thought that he'd be able to get the club to wash it should he need to. It hasn't gone out for a corner. It went out for a goal kick. I thought that it was a corner. I thought that it would come off the, uh, the legs of the goalkeeper, which it didn't. 
Anyway, Nottingham Forest now with the ball, trying to push forward, trying to get another attack sorted. A lovely long Hawkins. ball over the top gets headed Comes away the by the defender. I think it was Hawkins there who was defending and got the ball away from the attacking Nottingham Forest players. The ball played short. They're doing an attack from the back. Duckworth passes it to M. Mao, knocks it to Hawkins. Hawkins Lee. forwards to Lee. Lee loses the ball though to Christian the Nottingham Forest there. midfielders. And now they're on the attack once more, match. trying to get a goal. Good They've got here. less than two minutes to score if they want to salvage something from this game. The way it's going at the minute, it looks like it's going to be a point for either side because it's going a nil-nil sort of route. Unless Lee can do something here. He tries to get around the defenders. He doesn't manage to do so. It's 90 minutes played. There's five minutes of added time left to play. I don't think that anything's going to come from this. So a ball forward by Nottingham Forest. They're trying to get around the defence. They're through. Is he going to get the shot off? Doesn't manage to do so. Gets tackled by the defender. Can they get it out? Oh, my word. Last minute attempts by Nottingham Forest and Referee just doesn't it. manage to and get the ball into the goal and it's finished here nil nil Nottingham Forest nil Hartlepool nil and well it's not a good result for Hartlepool really they did need to get the win here against Nottingham Forest but Nottingham Forest played so well today they really did come along and come alive in that second half of football they have tried and tried and tried to get the ball over the top and they had several attempts at goal as well probably one of the better sides that um, Hartlepool have played this season to be honest with you and this is the second time that we've played them the first time we beat them this second time though they kind of knew what to expect and they were there willing to uh, stop us from doing our usual run down knock it in and score or have a, have a long run and uh, score because every time one of our players got the ball two or three of theirs were... Um, stopping us that was unfortunate for Nottingham Forest that was the closest attempt of the match in fact the header off the crossbar in the first half of football really really good attempt by Nottingham Forest and that really could have put the uh, dampeners on Hartlepool's title chances in fact this whole game losing or drawing with uh, Nottingham Forest can put the dampener on the uh, run that we were actually on coming into this match let's hope that it doesn't because the next game we've got is against Leeds United and we need to get the win against them again. Because when we played Leeds the last time, we, uh, where did we do? We drew with Leeds, nil-nil last time. So hopefully we'll be able to get a win this time. Anyway, there you go. There's the ball, another shot. You can see that the strikers for Nottingham Forest just seem to be snatching at the ball. Every time they had a shot, it was going over the top. Maybe they need to have a bit of work on that on the training ground. Anyway, as you can English see there, uh, for some reason, we're not showing any nil. matches. I think Brighton that is Hove due Albion to us two. being the, uh, the team Sheffield that played Wednesday. later One. on in the day. Blackburn All Rovers. of the other One. games had been Cardiff played City. earlier two. on. Charlton Unfortunately, Athletic. it One. doesn't show Norwich you them, City. but One. you can hear the guy Derby reading County. the scores two. out. So Blake I'll Boyle. shut up. One. Take it away, big man. Leeds United. One. Bournemouth. Two. Middlesbrough. One. Bolton Wanderers. Two. Nottingham Forest, nil. Hartlepool United, nil. Reading, two. Millwall, one. Watford, nil. Huddersfield Town, one. Wigan Athletic, three. Ipswich Town, nil. Wolverhampton Wanderers, one. Leicester City, one. Let's have a look at what those results okay, mean. Okay, so here's the scores. At the top uh, of the sorry, table, here's the league table. Hartlepool jump up points. one place in second, into eighth. We are table, now on 27 points, 11, 11 wins, in third, eight draws, table, eight Cardiff losses, with, with uh, 18 goals, fourth, four 15 goals down, against, plus Rovers three on the goal points, difference, 41 points. We can still jump up into third if we win the next game against Leeds. That is where we're going to next time. Anyway, I hope you'll come and join us for that game. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Mal. Take care. And until next time, bye for now. Hartlepool United with 41 points. Bottom of the table, Barnsley with 16 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Leighton Orient with 17 points. Third bottom, Millwall with 20 points. Fourth bottom, Middlesbrough with 22 points. 
fifth bottom, Bolton Wanderers with 31 points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions, as is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.